Are you dreaming of retiring as a millionaire, but aren't sure how to make that dream a reality? In this video, we'll share 7 effective strategies for building wealth and securing your financial future. By following these tips, you'll be on your way to a comfortable and worry-free retirement. So let's dive in and explore the strategies for retiring as a millionaire. There are some clear signs to find out if you are on the right track or not. And in this video, we are going to take a look at seven of them. So if you're ready, give this video a thumbs up and let's start with the first one. You know how to say no. It might sound a bit confusing, but it's one of the main reasons why some people succeed in life while others don't. We don't want to be rude, we want to be kind and gentle. So when people ask us for help, especially friends and relatives, we often just say yes, because you cannot simply reject them, they are your friends and family. But what ends up happening is that, by always sharing your time with others, you never have the time to work on the projects that will make you financially successful. The key to success is not to do everything, but rather focus on one thing. Remember, your most important resource is your time. It doesn't matter what you do, how good of a person are you, you're not going to have more than 24 hours a day. So, you're left with a choice to either spend it on stuff that will make you wealthier or on other people's needs and wants. I'm not saying you should be stingy and never help anyone, but you have to make yourself a priority. Number two, you're always learning. So here's what most people do. They go to high school, graduate, join college or university, graduate, find a job, and that's the end of learning. Literally, some people don't even read a single book once they're out of college, which is why most people don't become successful. The key to building wealth is to take advantage out of opportunities, and the only way to do that is to have a deep understanding of something or a wide understanding of the world. For example, 10 years ago, crypto was not a thing, but today it's worth trillions. The people who are going to take advantage out of this revolution are the people who put in the effort and time to understand this industry. It's as simple as that. If you are curious enough to read and learn, you probably have known more about crypto 5 or 10 years ago, and your curiosity would have pushed you to understand the technology and see its potential. That doesn't mean it's over. There are going to be more such technologies that would revolutionize the world. Edison and many other entrepreneurs back then took advantage out of electricity. Others joined the oil revolution. In the 1990s up to 2010, early users of internet created companies that today are worth hundreds of billions of dollars, and in some cases, trillions. So if you're a constant learner, it's a matter of time before you spot an opportunity that will turn you into a millionaire. Number three, you're building connections. Alone, you're never going to go far. Humans are social creatures, and the fastest way to building wealth is to have valuable connections. You have a business idea? If you know someone who is ready to invest in it, congrats, you have turned an opportunity into real physical asset. Go to networking events, meet people who are also passionate and talented. Most people have two or three friends that they spend their entire time with and imagine the rest of the world to be the same. But it's not. The world is filled with nice and talented people who can add great value to your life. Number four, they understand that life is unfair. I often hear people say that, that's unfair, I deserve this, or he doesn't deserve that, and so on. Let me tell you a secret. Life is not fair. Life is like a war where you have to fight for it. You might fight hard, but if you're shooting the wrong target, for example, then you will achieve nothing. You might be as smart as you want, but if your opponent's strategy is better, then you will be defeated. So don't rely on the fairness of life, but rather strike first and be smart about it. If you don't succeed the first time, don't sit in the corner and cry about it, but rather get up, improve your strategy and strike again. Eventually, you will succeed. Number five, you're focused on making money and not saving. Saving money is the key to financial freedom. It doesn't matter how much money you make. If you spend it all, you won't be able to invest and build wealth. But some people are so focused on saving money that they forget to maximize their income. 
They spend hours in the hypermarkets to find milk that's 10 cent cheaper instead of spending that time educating themselves and learning to spot a million dollar opportunity. Remember, there is a limit to how much you can save. At the end of the day, you need a shelter over your head, food on the table, and gas to drive your car, and late night hangouts with friends to entertain yourself. Save as much as you want, but focus more on building different streams of income. If you have reached the peak in one area, focus on building another business and so on and so forth. Number 6. You're consistent. One thing I can tell you for a fact is, nothing meaningful happens overnight. If you have ever tried to go to the gym, you know that it doesn't matter how hard you work out. It doesn't matter if you spend 10 hours in the gym. You're only going to hurt yourself and won't achieve anything. Because the nature of success is that it happens gradually, step by step. Going to the gym 3 or 4 times a week, working out just for an hour for 3 months in a row will get you far better results than spending 10 hours in the gym for just one week. And that applies to everything else in life, including financial success. Number 7. You are results oriented. There are two types of people. One who believe that they should be paid based on how much effort they put in and the other who believe that they should get paid based on how much value they bring to the table. And that's why the first type in most cases never become financially successful. They can make a lot of money because they could be really good at their job. So they get paid a fortune like successful engineers, doctors or lawyers. But at the end of the day, the real money is made by successful entrepreneurs. Take a look at the top 100 richest people in the world. All of them are successful entrepreneurs. When it comes to business, no one really cares about how much time and effort you put in into your product. Check YouTube for example. No one really cares about how hard you work to create this video. If it's not interesting, no one is going to watch it. And that's why people with the first mentality often fail when they start a YouTube channel for example. Because when it comes to YouTube, you often have to work hard for months before figuring out the algorithm and generate any income. It might even take you years before it turns into a successful business.